And one of the greatest players ever, Novak Djokovic, did it again. He won his 24th Grand Slam title in straight sets. That number, 24, by the way, is significant. It ties the all-time record set by tennis legend Margaret Court. And we are thrilled to have the champ right here in studio. Good morning to you. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. So like I said, 24th Grand Slam, 36 years old, oldest champion ever to win the event. Has it sunk in yet? Um, not yet, to be honest. Really? You know, it has been uh, it has been quite a busy night, um, as you can imagine. But you know, uh, amazing to to spend uh, some quality time with with my team, with my family, celebrating. Uh, not much sleep, but uh, one of your colleagues told me it's a good tired. It so is. I, I like the phrase. It's a good tired tonight, uh, this morning. And uh, yeah, I, I guess it will probably settle in a few days, uh, but it has been an incredible experience last night. Do you ever go back and watch? I mean, that second set, we don't have to watch it. You lived it. That second set was a long one. I mean, almost yeah. two hours. Did you ever have any doubts while you were on the court or when you're in those? I don't even know what you call what the verbiage is when you're yeah. in that. Well, you have you have a lot of rallies, obviously, uh, you know, match up with uh, Medvedev is always like that. You know, you're not go you're not going to get your your points cheap. So you have to earn them. Mm -hmm. And I knew that after the first set, he's, gonna, he's not going to leave without a fight. So uh, there were doubts. There are always doubts. Um, but, you know, it's important to, like, keep things uh, quite simple and have good clarity and, and be in the present moment and, and focus on the next point and what needs to be done. So I think that was a key to the win. Probably the, the second set uh, after that, I, you know, had a little break and regained my energy and I played a great third set to, to finish it out. Yeah. Can we talk about the audience, your, specifically your family that was there, your team? I know afterwards you went straight over to your daughter who was in the front Aww. row. You said yes. that you looked to her for support during that super long second set. Mm -hmm. And just her little smile, her innocence, six years old. To have your six-year-old daughter, your nine-year-old son there, how do you talk to them about what this means mm. to you and your family? And also, you, you had a lot of gratitude for your family. I did. Actually, that was the first thing I wanted to do once I dropped the racket on the side. Uh, after I, I shook hands with my opponent just to hug her, mm -hmm. she was seated courtside and then, you know, my son and my wife were seated in the player's box along with my parents, my family, the team, friends. It was incredible, you know, to have the closest people in my life there to witness this historic moment and uh, for me to be able to share it with them is something that is truly remarkable. My daughter was making an eye contact with yeah. me every single time oh, wow. I needed encouragement and strength. She was there. She was giving me a fist bump. You know, she's six. My son is nine. I, uh, when I became a father, it was one of my greatest wishes is that one day I get to win a Grand Slam in front of them mm -hmm. on the stands and they are old enough to realize what's yeah. happening. Yeah. So that was that was a reality last night and it was it was amazing. And really quick. Quickly after that, uh, the tribute to your old friend, uh, Kobe Bryant. I noticed before the ceremony, you, yes. here it is right here. You took off your shirt mm. and you put on... Um, Mamba mentality. Yeah, <laughs> the 24 on, on the back. What, what led you to share that moment with him? Yeah. Well, uh, him and I were close and, uh, you know, he was uh, extremely supportive uh, and very kind and generous to me when I was down and uh, had to undergo the surgery about six years ago and trying to work my way up. I had a lot of doubts, you know, mental challenges and, and he was there for me. We had numerous conversations about the mentality, what, you know, he was guiding me through the process and uh, I, I couldn't be more thankful to, to him and everything that ha he has done for me, but also for athletes around the world. His legacy lives forever, uh, obviously, you know, I, it broke my heart when I heard the news three years ago. And uh, but you know, his spirit was there last night. I yeah. felt it. And Absolutely. 24 is the is the jersey that he wore when he became a legend of the world basketball and Lakers. And I felt it was uh, appropriate Absolutely. to pay a tribute to him with a, with a 24 slam. 24 grand slam. Congrats. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I was special on so many levels. And thank yeah. you for bringing by the yeah. hardware. Yeah. It's also pretty cool. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you so much. Yes, <laughs> it's hard to overstate what, what you have done for men's tennis. And I appreciate what you've it. Thank you. It's, thank just, you. It's, it's a remarkable feat. So mm -hmm. thanks for swinging by. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.